Hello guys, I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install Nitrogen OS, which is based on Android 8.1 on a Redmi Note 3. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. Tap on the first link, it will be taking you to a XTA page, then scroll down to the download section, tap on the testing version and you need to select a folder which is called 8.1. So once you tap on it, make sure you're downloading the latest ROM and once you download it, you can either place it in your internal storage or your SD card. Go to the second link, it's a G apps, then tap on ARM64. Then you can either install Nano, Pico or Micro version. Try the first link. If it's not working, then you can download it via the second link. Once you're done with it, keep it in internal storage or your SD card. So now you need to update your TWRP recovery. If your recovery is running below 3.1.1, you will face the error 7 so you need to update it just make sure you're installing the latest one that is 3.2.1 for that check the third link in the description once you downloaded all the files which i mentioned and kept it in your storage you just need to tap and hold on your power button and your volume up button it will be taking you into your recovery mode once you're into recovery now you need to navigate to the folder where you have kept all your downloaded file once you are into it you need to tap on the second option which is called install image so while tapping this all the files will be gone and you'll be able to see your twrp update file then tap on recovery and you need to swipe to do it once you're done with it now just go back to the main menu then you need to go to the reboot section then tap on recovery and after this you'll be able to see your recovery will be updated Now go to the backup section, select system, data, boot. Once you're done with it, select your storage, then swipe to take a backup. So if you don't like the current one or if there was any error while doing it, you can simply flash this and switch back to your current ROM. Once you're done with your backup, go to the wipe section, go to the advanced, then you need to select system. Dalvik data and cache other than internal storage micro SD you need to select everything and swipe then your system will be wiped Then select the first option which is install now you need to navigate to the folder where you have kept your ROM and your G apps Then tap on the ROM then swipe to install the ROM. It's gonna take 5 to 10 minutes Once you install your ROM now go back and install the G apps and I am installing the Pico version. You can either install Nano, Pico or the Micro version. Now once you're done with it, select the second option which is a reboot system. So if you follow all these steps, your ROM will be successfully installed. The best boot is going to take somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes. So do not panic. You just need to wait. So your screen is gonna boot into this, I'm quickly gonna set up my device. So as you see over here, the fingerprint works perfectly. So I'm just gonna select a pin. So this one works perfectly as it works in MIUI. So I finally set up my device. The initial impressions are damn good. I can find all the Android 8.1 features present in this room. So there is a separate option which is called personalization where you can customize your device. Now let's talk about its pros and cons. So sensors, camera, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and all the settings works perfectly. Now talking about the flaw, video calling feature is not available but VOLT and voice call works unfortunately for now video calling is not working at all. So moving on to the next flaw, so those users who are having FPC fingerprint their fingerprint is gonna work but if you're having a good X fingerprint it's not gonna work but there is a solution for it. Go to the fourth link in the description where you can find a patch for this. You just need to download it and flash 
using TWRP recovery. After this process, your good fix fingerprint might work. Moving on to the camera and video recording, those two works perfectly. But I was not happy with the stock camera which came with the room because it was too basic and didn't have any feature like Google camera. So I went ahead and installed a Google camera which was supported for this room. I'll be leaving the link in the description for that Google camera. Those people who are interested can check that out. Overall, this is a pretty solid room for those people who want to have Android 8.1 on your Redmi Note 3 device. All the files which I mentioned in the video, their link are in the description, so check it out. So that's it for the video guys. If you like the video, go on smash the like button and if you loved it, do subscribe to my channel because I'll be making more of this content. Like, share, subscribe and don't forget, peace out.